Hey guys and welcome. Today I will be showing you how to add advanced IK food system to your already existing project or to your new project. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new project. By the way, I'm using Unreal 4.18. It will most likely work on any kind of Unreal version. Now we're gonna go to new project. I will use the third person character example. No need for starter content. I will name the project Advanced IK System. Then press create project. Now wait until it load. If you already have a project on Unreal, just enter your project and follow the steps. You don't need to make that. Now as you can see we are on a new project. Go back to Epic Games Launcher. Advanced IK Foot Placement System, add to project and choose the new project we just created or your already existing project. Click add to project. Now the IK system has been added to our project. We'll go back to content and you can already see it here. Now if we press play Nothing actually seems to work. The IK system is not applied yet and the character looks like the default character. The reason this happening is because we didn't change the game mode for our new third person character on the advanced IK foot placement system. So we need to go to third person blueprint blueprints and third person game mode and under default pawn class change it to TP which is third person character BP then hit compile now save now we need to remove the old one and then hit play now you can see we started with our character, but he can only walk and if you hit shift he doesn't even run. We can jump normally and the IK system works fine. The reason we can't run or change the weapon is because our buns is not assigned. We have to go to the project settings and add them. So first thing first, we go back to the content, we go to advanced IK foot placement, blueprints, and the TP character BP. If we hit compile, there is a couple of errors. And we're gonna fix them right now. The first three errors we have here is the button was assigned on the old project but it is not assigned here. So we have to go to edit, project settings, input, action mappings and we add the new inputs. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and add three more inputs. First one will be the sprint button. And we will be using shift for that. Left shift. The second one will be crouch.
and the third one will be weapon swap. Crouch will be control, left control. And weapon swap, I'm gonna add three buns for that. Number one, and the mouse roll up and down. I'm gonna go back to the third person character blueprint and I'm gonna type the bonds I just add. I will remove the old one and add the new one. We'll go back to crouch and write crouch action event. We'll just put it here since the feature is still experimental. You can plug it in but it has some problems. And lastly I'm gonna go to the weapon swap. And I will remove the old one and add the new one. Compile. Now the problem problems is fixed. And we just need to fix the arrow component problem. We'll just go ahead to the viewport, add an arrow. Just leave everything as it is. Go back to the event graph, compile, find that arrow, get the new arrow, and place it in a state. Because both of them the same location. Before on the old Unreal Engine, we was able to use the arrow component as an actual arrow to locate things but since the new update they cancelled that that's why we are getting an error now if we remove that and compile everything is right now we can go ahead and go back to our viewport and go to the demo room map and demo room map to open our IK map now here we are, if we hit shift, we will be able to run. We can run up, run down. If we use the mouse, roll up and down, we can swap weapons. Press 1, we can swap the weapon too. And everything actually working fine. If you have a project already and you wanted to add this to your already existing project, just follow everything the same. If you have your own character blueprint, you can go to this blueprint here and make sure you copy all the functions to your new blueprint and the sockets on the character skeleton so you don't have any problem. You can also right click the TP animation BP and retarget it for a different character if you set up the character. Hopefully this video was helpful, thank you for watching and have a great day.